Yeah, are you still on cloud nine? Yeah, I think, I, I think everyone's still just tired. I think um, I was with Jill Scott yesterday and she was like, I can't, everyone keeps saying it's been over a week now, but it just still feels like it was yesterday. Because, uh, yeah, it's just memories that I think will live at the forefront of our, of, of our brain for, for the rest of our life. Yeah, obviously, fantastic achievement. Um, you've had a great career today. How does this rank? Yeah, it's definitely got to be the top thing. I think it's the thing that, from a young age, it was the first thing I can really think of as wanting to play for England and playing for England would mean wanting to win a trophy. Um, so to finally have done that after several tournaments and several tournaments of being so close and being disappointed, but to do it in the fashion that we've done now is... Yeah, there's no, no better way to do it than at home at Wembley against the Germans. Yeah, it's really important. It's something that we've known that uh, we had a responsibility to do. Um, women's football, I know when I started, was, was quite low in terms of the funding, the kind of the crowds, the fans. Um, yeah, we needed to build up a lot considering, you know, you can exhibitions like this and you realise that um, women's football was banned 50 years ago. Uh, so we had a lot of catching up to do. But yeah, in my lifetime, in my career, I'm so happy that I've been part of this journey where I've seen it at the very bottom and come to the very top now of winning a major tournament of England and, and just how the perspective and how everything's just now changed for, for the game and the good of the game. And yeah, to be a small part of that is, is amazing. Obviously, you've done, done your business, Yeah, definitely. And I think, I think we will. I think there's leagues around the world that are in such good positions. Obviously, the WSL is going from strength to strength every year as well. Uh, as an England team, the FA continue to, to push us and want us to do better. And, and we've got great young players coming through. Uh, so, yeah, it's just that continuation is always going to happen. Um, and I think we see now more that the media and the sponsors are, are more and more behind us and, and want to help grow the game as well. So as long as everybody ca carries on being on board with it and we carry on, performing on the pitch then there's no reason why we can't just keep continuing this legacy that we've uh, kind of kicked off with winning the tournament for this team what yeah I came with Lego uh, who have made a replica of the trophy that we've just recently won and um, which was it's a pretty amazing uh, trophy when you you can see it's each individual piece of Lego like nearly 3,000 pieces um, and yeah with with some kids as well um, Obviously, with women's football, we've been inspiring young kids to to play and to change the perception of the women's game. I think it's similar to kind of Lego's ethos in, in challenging the, the gender stereotypes, similar to what we do in uh, women's football. Um, and yeah, just encouraging kids to be creative and there's no limit on the, on the play. And then obviously being at the museum and with the exhibition is kind of goes along with that is um, challenging the stereotypes, showing the history and what women's football's had to overcome and, and uh, why it's so important that we celebrate every win, as much as a trophy, but every win that we have in, in women's football. Okay, that's brilliant. Thank you.